we love adding new guns and things, but that doesn't change the paradigm, right? This, this is gonna be a game changer on how people approach uh, different zombie situations. You just see like things in the garage, things in a hardware store, and uh, then you see movies, and you have a bunch of ideas in your head. So when I was cleaning up my grandpa's garage, I found this giant thing. I didn't know what it was. Big stick, big cleaver blade on the end. So I just looked up cleaver with big handle. Hog splitter was the thing that it turned out to be. <laughs> We've learned a lot of things over the past year and a half or so about where we can optimize and, and where we can buy back some memory. And that includes not just making the weapons, but also um, a new fighting style, um, a lot of new animations, new reactions from the zombies, which is really cool. And it just feels so badass. For instance, uh, came up with a, a big shovel and my first thought was like, audio is gonna have a field day with this big shovel and the bong it's going to hit uh, when you're smacking people. So that was, like, you gotta put that in there. As a sound designer, that's a big part of the, the job is to help sell an emotional moment. Something can feel more dangerous than, and more impactful or even more heavy than something else. We went down to Warner Brothers Foley Studio in, in Burbank and directed the Foley artists to just bang on all the cool props that they had down there. And they will have a pile of things that, that are stacked up and then start hitting different places on that pile. We can then make something that was already pretty impactful sound even bigger and be more impactful. <laughs> I'll go to the Discord a lot and you know check ideas and people put the most insane stuff on there and I'm like, that is perfect. I want to do that next. And we always try to fill holes. Like we've got a bladed weapon, now I need a blunt weapon. Now this one is a little light, this one's a little heavy. And so we try to find things that we haven't done before and put something in that spot. <laughs> It's actually uh, really exciting to think about how players in multiplayer are going to do this because you can actually set up groups to, to have your crusher go in and then have other people come up and clean up behind them. It's going to be fun to watch people explore the possibilities and how they can approach different tactical situations with the zombie. They're all a lot of fun, they feel great, and it's it's such a different style that each one is just gonna have great value, so.